It's the way he handled the violence in history of violence, the way he handled the violence in Eastern Promises, was had a lot of impact, even though it didn't take up much screen time. Um, it had a, it was disturbing, and I think that's because he's very direct and very honest about the way he depicts violence, you know, the, the action and the consequences of violent physical action are always um, enacted and filmed in as you know, plausible and true to life fashion as possible by him. I think that David is much more responsible than most directors in terms of the way he, he, he portrays violence in his movies. And I don't mean responsible in a moral sense necessarily, although that too, but responsible in terms of the needs of the story, you know. He, the, the violence that's d depicted is always relevant to the overall story. It's not a set piece that, that stands out or is, is showy in a way that's distracting or irrelevant or attention-grabbing, you know. Um, I mean, you may, people may have walked out of History of Violence or, or after seeing Eastern Promise and said, oh, that scene was... Uh, uh. But it's not like during the movie you say, oh, well, that's taking me out of the movie. It's so like, it's this car chase moment. You know what I mean? It's, there's something, he's responsible because he's saying, this is what it's really, this is as close as I can get to what it's really would be like if this was really happening. And these are the consequences, physically and psychologically, you know, and um, I think that's why they have such an impact. I really like the more subtle makeup, like for instance, uh, there was this makeup on Ed Harris on uh, History of Violence. Now that was an old scar that was caused by Vigo in the story by scraping across his face a barbed wire. So that was really fun to do because it was you know, it was an old scar, so it was a char again, it was a character makeup. And uh, he agreed to wear this contact lens, like his eye was damaged, um, and it didn't have that, that pinhole that was too prominent, so it looked like a dead fish eye, and that was the whole idea, you know. So that worked out really beautifully, and he has a great face to work with. So I did this, this little gelatin makeup using his contour, and it, you know, it was like one, two, three pieces and it worked out really great. And that's another one that I'm very proud of. We had a sequence, and it was a nightmare sequence, where Ed Harris is lying on the ground after being shot with a shotgun by uh, Vigo behind the counter. Now, that was a dream sequence. And he's lying on the floor with a hole the size of a cannonball in his chest with smoke coming out. We did that, we made a hole in the floor, and so Ed's body, the middle part, was lowered. And then there was a fake chest that was made that went over to his knees and up to here so that we could put a cavity there, okay? Uh, but the costume had to be arranged so that it could wrap around, you know, and enlarged here and wrap around so that you could fit all that stuff in. So that's where the knees comes in, you know? Right. It's not only a prosthetic thing, it's like a costume trick also, the costume special effects. Yeah. yeah, so it all has to mesh together. That was particularly violent. When he gets his face bashed in, what we did is uh, I did the appliances for about three stages. And um, one stage had like, since his nose is bashed in, okay, uh, you can't disguise that. So what I had to do was I had to put green on his nose here and put an appliance with the edges. So he had a green nose when we shot it, okay? So after we shot this, we had a, a day of post-production and Neil Trofanovich, the special effects guy on the film, him and I have worked together very often. What we did is we had a day where we had blood tubing and so on going in to uh, cast of the head of the actor, which was painted green. And on the cast of the, the face was a sculpture of a nose pushed in, crushed in with blood tubes. And it was squirting blood. So that was taken and that was added onto the actor in the scene through green screen. But it was like two different makeup elements that were, 
you know, put together. Wow. Because you had to make the you had to make the nose disappear, and I couldn't cut off the guy's nose. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Would have made things way easier. Damn, he didn't want to. <laughs> So you green screened his face. So we green screened the nose. nose. The rest, the rest was like all makeup, and the nose was makeup. It was just taken and it was put there. Uh, also, we did that with the bullet hit on the guy's head at the beginning that goes through his jaw and just dislocate the, the jaw. We, the the little bullet hole at the, that was green screened and put in later. But the rest was physical. We did it on the set. Uh, you know the all of that.